we are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. Family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we are making a creamy potato soup. Yes, a creamy potato soup. And here are our ingredients. Chicken broth, sour cream, butter, chives, sharp cheddar cheese, heavy whipping cream. I have some salt and pepper and granulated onion, some mixed garlic, some bacon, some milk, and in the back, as you can see, I have my potato that I have chopped up. Y'all, those are the simple ingredients that I'm going to use in this potato soup. Okay, y'all, let's get to making our creamy potato soup. Okay, in this pot, I am melting my butter. You don't put it on a high heat because you don't want your butter to burn. Here, I'm adding my flour. Okay, now I'm adding some milk. And my heavy whipping cream. Now I'm adding my chicken broth. I'm going to use this whole container now. Now I'm adding my potatoes. My sour cream. Some of my chives. My minced garlic. And here's my salt, pepper, and granulated onion powder. And I'm also adding some of my bacon. Y'all, this is already smelling good, y'all. It is already smelling good. I'm getting ready to turn my heat up some. I'm making sure I have this well incorporated. Let's turn it up just a little bit more. And here I'm adding my sharp cheddar cheese. When this begins to boil, I'm going to be right back. 
Okay, as y'all can see, it has started boiling. And I'm going to reduce this heat to like a medium, low medium. And just let this cook. You let your soup boil until the potatoes get tender. Okay? And I'm going to tell you exactly how long I let mine boil. I put mine on like a medium, low medium heat. And you keep stirring this occasionally, y'all. Make sure y'all keep stirring it every now and then. Come back like every five minutes and stir. Okay? To make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom. Okay? I'll be back when my soup is ready. Okay, y'all, I am back. Just like I said, make sure you get down at the bottom. Because when I decided to stir mine, it had, my potatoes had stuck to the bottom a little bit, okay? So make sure you keep these stirred. Okay, y'all, I am back. This potato soup is ready. I'm going to show y'all, this is, this is how you can tell if they're ready or not. See how they they going through the potato? Okay. That means it's ready. You just check your potatoes. Just stick them with a fork. See? And see how this is. They're ready. So that is what you're looking for. Okay, y'all. I'm going to let this cool for a good 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes just to get it cool. And then I'm going to serve this up and show y'all my final result, okay? Okay, y'all, I am back with the final result. Show y'all my... Let me pull it a little closer. I'll show y'all how to eat potato soup. In this uh, recipe, you can also add chicken, shrimp, or whatever you want to add in this this is sort of like a basic um, recipe that you can add seafood or whatever you want to add to it, okay? Okay, I'm about to fold this up. This is so good. I taste it and it was so, so good. Okay, here it is, y'all. This is my loaded creamy potato soup. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. As y'all can see, I got some water, I got my spaghetti boiling. I'm making some, some of my uh, million dollar uh, baked spaghetti. And, uh, For my daughter, she's she's here from Houston, and so she's she. Uh, I, I wanted her. To, she loves soup, y'all. She loves soup, and so I decided to make this potato soup for her. And then somebody also requested me to make a potato soup. I can't remember who it was, but somebody did ask me to make one, and so I'm finally making that potato chowder soup. Okay, and the chowder you can add corn and corn. But this is just a basic creamy potato soup. Okay, here we have it. Okay, Bryson, I have finally put up a new video. Okay, because she was asking on the phone. He was he spoke to me the other day and he was asking me when I'm gonna put up another, up another video. And so I decided to get up this morning and do just that. And so um, I want y'all to continue to pray for my family. Pray for my daughter and her family. Um, 
because y'all know we had a loss in our family. But I want y'all to continue to pray for us because we got a long journey ahead. But God, I know God is there for us. So um, I'm going to be ready to close. Like I said, I wanted to share this soup with you all. recipe. I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please share with your family. Share with your friends. And show them that Miss D and her family is here on YouTube. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm about to cook. Like I say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and her family. That's a hit.